Hey there, in this video I'm going to be talking about the impact of being alone during the festive season and during the course of lockdown, how isolation can impact our mental and emotional well-being and I'm going to share some tips to help you to overcome that feeling of loneliness too. I'm Adele Marie, I'm the creator of Anxiety Release Method and I am a clinical hypnotherapist, NLP master practitioner and I help clients from all over the world to live the best lives that they possibly can. Now, what do I mean by loneliness? We can all be alone and alone time is actually really good and beneficial and can be really, really healing. And in fact, you might not know this, but loneliness can be beneficial too because it can give us that opportunity and that insight to actually take a look at our closest relationships and help us to improve them. And that includes the relationship that we have with ourselves. Now, loneliness can be experienced when you're not even alone. Now, I don't know if you have had that experience before in your life where you've been in a room with people, and it may even be people that are your friends and family, and yet you still feel loneliness in the pit of your stomach and in the core of your being. And it's really not a nice experience. Now, if we consider that one of the six human needs is actually connection, then connection would seem that it's the opposite of loneliness. Now, there's a couple of things to consider here. Connection can be connection to ourselves and connection to others and also connection to planet, connection to nature, connecting to a force, a source that is bigger than ourselves. Now this is where self-awareness is key and if you are just starting on your self-development journey or you've been on it for a while then you will understand that self-awareness holds the key to understanding so many of our our personal needs and things that make us happier and healthier. Connection is so important. Now we need to connect to the people around us and we need to connect to ourselves and to the planet, as I just said before. So it's really important to ask yourself these questions. What do you need to do to feel connected? Is it meditate? Is it prayer? Is it to speak to other people? Is it to go out on a walk? How do you need to feel connected to those people that are important in your life? And how do you connect to the planet or to nature? And then how do you connect to your source, to God, whatever it is that you believe in, in terms of your spiritual health? Another great question is, when do you enjoy being alone? Because Alone is actually really great for us when we use the time productively. We can have that nice bath and read a book and do things that really nurture us. So when do you enjoy that time alone? And then another question is, when do you feel that emotion of loneliness? When is it that you feel that the most? And what is it here to teach you? What is that loneliness here to really teach you? So a few really nice questions to ask yourself to enable yourself to understand that sensation of loneliness. Now I'm just going to say this. Loneliness is an emotion. It's an emotion more than a, a tangible object. And so it comes and it goes like any emotion. So to understand that it is an emotion and we are here to feel a whole range of emotions during any course of the day is really important because you know that it will soon leave as soon as it, it arrived and it, and it came. And sometimes it just creeps up on us like an unwelcome visitor and it makes us feel really rubbish while it's here. So just understand that your your visitor will leave you as, as, as quick as it arrived. It's just a course of just allowing that feeling and allowing it open the door and let it leave simply. So here's a few tips to help you to 
Become less lonely and feel more connected and fulfilled in your life. So I'll tell you a little story about myself. When I was a single mum of my daughter, who was very young at the time, Sunday mornings for me were awful. I felt so lonely and I felt that desperate loss of not having my own family. And so what I learned to do is I learned to plan breakfast dates with my friend or brunch dates or we'd go for a walk or a run or meet in the gym. Now, depending on where we are in this current situation, things may vary for you, but just get really creative. Now, rather than make a loose date with your friend and say, oh, maybe we could do this, actually plan it, plan where you're going to meet, what time you're going to meet and get it in the diary. So it's a very firm, strong plan. And that also gives you something to look forward to, which creates a, a, a better sensation of well-being and fulfillment. See the alone time as a gift. So really focus on the gift of being alone, read those books, work into your own personal growth, meditate, um, do self-massage, uh, sit in the bath, do whatever you can that is what you call self-care, put a face mask on, paint your nails, um, and just really work on that attitude of seeing this aloneness as a gift because there may be a time in your life where it will be too noisy for you and that that aloneness will actually feel like oh wow you know those days where I was alone <laughs> I wish I had one of those again and so yes yeah, see that time as a gift now also plan things like zoom or facetimes with your personal um, friends and relatives or maybe organize a zoom quiz so that you're connected to a group of people if you're away and you're unable to connect with somebody face to face and so another another great thing to do is Really upskill on stuff like cooking. Now, cooking is an amazing way for you to feed and nurture your physical body. So it really works on that self-care. And you can freeze the food and, um, you know, do a batch cook. And it will really work into, it really builds into your self-esteem and your self-worth as well when you do things like cooking. And you can listen to some really great music at the same time too. Find like-minded people. There's groups online everywhere that we, if you're into cooking, if you're into reading, if you're into bird watching, it doesn't matter. Find people who have your interests in a group online and you will feel so much more connected and therefore less lonely. Select a friend or maybe two that you can bounce off. So it's really powerful to have that friend that you don't feel like you're burdening him or her and vice versa. So that you know that you can offload your loneliness or your feelings or your emotions and they do the same to you. So it's a really nice balance. It's an exchange of energies. And if you find somebody that you that lifts you it will be a wonderful, wonderful asset. And also when you are able to do that for them as well, you'll feel like you're contributing. So again, that takes away that sensation, that feeling of loneliness. One thing that I will say, if you haven't already got this um, in place is create your attitude of gratitude. Now, this is an amazing way of rewiring your neurology. Be really grateful for having a home, warmth, clothing, and that in turn will get rid of any unresourceful thoughts and feelings which will make you feel unhappy and disconnected. So write down your gratefuls every single day, even if you're feeling like you are being repetitive, it's okay. That repetition will create a strong gratitude muscle in your own mindset. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please take care and reach out to those people who are around you. Enjoy your alone time and stay connected to yourself and others. Lots of love.